Hello DSU fans, I'm Blake Saunders and this is the DSU Sting Zone. And here we go, DSU fans, Dell State comes into this contest not beating Hampton on their whole film since 1969. We pick up the action here on Hampton's first drive of the day as sophomore quarterback TJ Mitchell scrambles in and eludes a couple Hornet defenders as he finds wide receiver Gerald Gilchrist behind the defense for the 59 yard completion. On the very next play, running back Jerry Cummins takes it in from 15 yards out to give Hampton a 7 0 lead early in the first quarter. As we move into the second quarter, running back Kareem Jones shows why he's one of the MEAC's most explosive running backs, taking his handoff 57 yards down to the Hamptons 23 yard line. Five plays later, quarterback Rashawn Witten keeps it on the quarterback keeper as he ties the ball game up at 7-7. On Delaware State's next possession, quarterback Rashawn Witten finds wide receiver LeBron Moore, 34 yards downfield, setting up this go-ahead field goal by Peter Gardner to give the Hornets a 10-7 lead early in the second quarter. But the Pirates put together a drive of their own, taking the ball 80 yards downfield as quarterback T.J. Mitchell loses a couple of defenders and finds wide receiver Jail Gilchrist in the back of the end zone for the 12-yard touchdown reception. With two minutes remaining in the first half, quarterback Rashawn Witten shows why he plays Madden football using the R2 button. Whoop! Right there! Rashawn had 59 yards rushing on the day, with 11 of them coming right here in the quarterback scamper as he makes his reservation for six. Delaware State goes into the half up 17 to 14. Delaware State picks it in the in second half as linebacker Jackie Watkins records a sack right here on TJ Mitchell. On the very next play, Mitchell still feels the pressure and tries to set up the screen when, oops, interception by Russell to Hitman Reeves. As we move into the fourth quarter, Hedwood takes the ball 75 yards and connects on a 33-yard field goal to tie the ball game at 17 apiece. On the Hornets' next possession, Rashawn finds wide open Shahir McBride as he whoop, takes the pass 50 yards downfield to the Hamptons 10-yard line. Third and goal now, Rashawn drives back. Scrambles to the right. As he scrambles to the right, he finds tight end Jeff Postel in the back of the end zone for a leaping touchdown grab to get a Delaware State Hornets to 24-17 lead early in the fourth quarter. With the Hornets smelling victory just around the corner, they continue to put on pressure as they recorded five sacks along the day. With the final one coming here as quarterback T.J. Mitchell was sacked by Teron Hurst to get a Delaware State University to victory. As the Delaware State Hornets sting the Defendimiac champions 24 to 17. The Hornets running back Kareem Jones had 135 yards on 26 rushes, while quarterback TJ Mitchell was 16 to 35 for 263 yards and one touchdown. Afterwards, the team talked about how big of a victory it was for the Delaware State University football program. Yeah, it's a big victory for everyone. I mean, Hampton's the uh, last year's champion, so. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a big victory for everyone, but we got to take every game at a time, and we got to win next week, too, so we just got to go out there and have some fun. Well, it's a very significant victory because uh, uh, we beat the champions, and uh, that's a significant step toward moving uh, uh, to a championship ourselves. Uh, our guys know that uh, they can do it now because we did it. That they did, improving their MIAC record to 2-0 and 3-1 overall. DSU's next contest comes this Thursday at home against Bethune Cookman at 7.30 on ESPNU. And until the next time we meet, I'm Blake Saunders reporting. Feel the sting.